We're with you in moments, big and small. This is Polk Today Video. The Polk County Chamber of Commerce, with the help of the Polk County Republican Party and sponsor Advent Health Redmond, provided the opportunity for local residents to hear from candidates for the county commission races in the May 24th primaries on Tuesday, April 26, 2022. Candidates were given equal time to answer several questions posed by audience members, and those that weren't asked due to time constraints will be featured on polktoday.com after the questions have been forwarded to candidates via the chamber and written responses are sent onward to us for posting. Polk Today coverage of the candidate forum is being provided in several parts since each question was posed to every candidate without division by district so as to be able to watch this nearly two hour long session in easier to digest chunks without any edits other than to add the watermark and this brief message at the beginning of each part. You can watch the other parts of the 2022 candidate forum in separate videos here on YouTube, Facebook, and polktoday.com. Coverage of the candidate forum is brought to you by Polk Today sponsors like Gammon McFall and Villarau, attorneys at law in Cedartown, the Development Authority of Polk County, and the City of Rockmart, who are celebrating Georgia Cities Week during their Sesquit Centennial Year with an event coming up this Friday night, April 29th. Check out polktoday.com for more on that movie night fun ahead later this week in Rockmark. Don't forget to find additional coverage of the candidate forum on polktoday.com. I'll remember that, Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was told to read this to myself before I read it out loud. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> Reminder, if, if any of y'all have a question, uh, you're, you're welcome to write one down right here. Please. Yeah. Um, all right. We're going to start with Linda now. That's why I said pass, Paul. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Pass. I'm going to write it down. You're going to so. write it down? Yeah. All right. Okay. If elected or re-elected, how do you plan to get rid of the divided line in our county? We got, we got Fish Creek and Princey to work alongside of our cities to better our community mm -hmm. as the school system states, quote, better together. I love that a lot of too, better together. We, we are better together, aren't we? Um, I don't know about the divide. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really don't. I don't see a divide. Um, um, I know one thing that we did do as a commission, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of quality of life we need here in the, in the county. And uh, we gave our cities $300,000 for quality of life uh, to bring quality of life to the uh, projects, to the cities for, um, for our citizens. And uh, so that's bringing us all together. Now we've asked them to be sure and give us uh, the plans for what they're going to do for this quality of life um, and then of course once they do it and get it back to us then I mean, uh, they will give us back the money if that, whatever they got left over so I'm very proud of that I think that we uh, we have I don't see a divide I think Rock Mart, Cedartown, Aragon we all work together we always have I have and uh, I don't see a divide in our city are you sure <laughs> okay. right. Perry, same question for you. Read it again. Sure. Uh, if elected, how do you plan to get rid of the divided line in our county, like Fish Creek, to work alongside of our cities to better our community uh, as the school system states better together? All right. Yeah, of course, we'll be better together. So, uh, at, so I'm back on this this issue. Of, this is a county commission, and uh, I know we've got you know quite a few members on the county commission that. Uh, several that you know live in in the city, uh, and so sometimes I wonder if we lose our focus on the needs of the county. So yeah, we definitely want to work with you know with our cities as much as possible, uh, but we do want to focus largely on the needs of the county or the county commission, and I think we owe it to this county to focus a little more on, on those needs of those of folks that are in areas that are not within the city limits of Cedartown, Rockwater, Aragon, or, or, or live nearby. And let's take a look at, uh, you know, back on that question about, you know, with the kids and all, and the youth, uh, what kind of, what, what programs do we have in the county? We certainly want to support what's done in Rockmore and Cedartown. 
and arrogant, but we want to increase our focus on the needs of the kids that are in the county that are not living within those cities. Uh, 63, 64% of the population in this county is not living in the uh, city limits of City Town, Rock Mart, or Arrogan. So the vast majority of citizens are out in the county. I'm in the county. Let me just make a final pitch here. You got four people up here who are citizens who are making themselves available to, to bring some new perspective, some new energy, some new thinking, some new blood into your county commission. You got three people up here that are good at that. Yeah. And so let's let's yeah. get these let's think about let's think about Jeff, Glenn, Perry. James, all right, that's what we're trying to do, folks. We're making ourselves available. So give us some thought. Thank you. I appreciate you making yourself available. <laughs> Who wants one? All right. Drinks afterwards? The rails. James, uh, same question. Uh, if elected, how do you plan to get rid of the, the divided line in our county, like, like a place like Fish Creek, to work alongside of the cities to better our community? Uh, hashtag better go. go. Well, one of the things we can look at is the services provided by the municipality. You have Rockmart, City Town, and Aragon. And find out if we're duplicating services to start with. Or is the county providing the same thing that the city's providing? The funding that they're getting comes not just from one source, not just from the county budget. There are federal grants that can be obtained. The state allocates money for certain things. So we need to look at the programs and find out if we're duplicating services. If we're duplicating something that's not necessary, then we can look at maybe enhancing what the better of the two services. If the city of Cedar Town has a better service for after school programs or for school lunches, etc., then we could maybe look at letting them enhance that and taking some of the county money and going to the unincorporated areas and working with them to find a way to make equity between the two. This is a small county. The last time I checked, we had a population roughly around 42,000 people, give or take, on any given day. So you're talking about three focal points in municipalities that have their own independent governments, and then a county government that has to coordinate with those three. So communication is going to be key in doing that, looking at the books, looking at the programs, and finding an equity between the two. How they doing, Lydia? Mm -hmm. Good? Yes. All right. Gary, wasn't, wasn't the question uh, the dividing line between Rock Mart and Cedar Town? It, it made a claim. Uh, All these questions made a claim. Repeat that question for me. So Josh. apparently, I, I'm just asking questions. question. Mm -hmm. If elected, how do we plan to get rid of the divided line uh, in our county? Okay. Like Fish Creek, to work alongside the city. Better. There's not very many people in here that go back as far as I do. Uh, uh, the dividing lines between Rock Mart and Sear Town is not necessarily a, a tremendous hill or a mountain. It's sports. There is trash mountain. Yeah, a couple of them. We have trash <laughs> We do have a mountain trash board. We certainly do. But you know, uh, back then when when I played football, I, I couldn't play basketball because I couldn't drill. But it was a that's the dividing line. It was all sports. And, uh, and it was a tremendous, tremendous rivalry. There's, uh, there's nobody in here that remembers that uh, the, the, of age. Well, Ray does, and I appreciate you, Ray. <laughs> but uh, that's where, that's where the, the problem, the dividing line came from. Now, we finally you know, got a, a little bit of that you know, kind of spread out over the years. It's a little bit better now. Uh, we still have a rivalry, but I call Biff, you know, just like I would call uh, Jamie, you know, and talk to him on the phone. Uh, they're good guys. There's good people in Rockport, there's good people in Sioux Town, good people in Harrogate, good people in Polk County. And all it takes is, a, is some kind of, of, of uh, uh, conversation and communications among those citizens. It just has to be, you gotta have communication. <coughs> uh, and, uh, but now, if you'll notice, a lot of people, uh, well, they probably, I was there again, I'm, I'm aging myself, but the thing about it is that, that we have a better relationship now 
with the three cities in the county than we've ever had before in the history of Polk County. Amen. And it all goes back to sports. So now, as I mentioned, we have a good rivalry game with Rockmark, and they shake hands after the game. I remember, and you do too, right, when they had not been drag, drag outs, <laughs> lack of a better word, on the football field. I remember Rock Gemma going across the field in his, in his, with his with his, uh, his broken leg, cast covered leg, and, and trying to do something. He couldn't even run because of his broken leg. Going out on the field having to continue to fight, I guess. That was a few years ago. But it's that's just a wave, right? Okay, you good. You got 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you very much. But uh, right now, you know, Right, right here, right now, we've got citizens in the city of Town, Area, and out in the county. Um, you know, and we talk. Even in this building right now, we did that before this thing started. So, thank goodness for that. Right. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask a question again, try to get the essence. It's kind of a, a, a it's kind of weirdly phrased, I think, but uh, how do you plan to get rid of the divided line in our county, like Fish Creek? I think it's, I think the essence of the question is, it's, there's communities like Fish Creek. How do you answer? Yeah. That's the defining line. And, and yeah, maybe the question was uh, that how, how are the three groups, uh, four groups actually, in terms of their name, going to work together? Yeah. That's it. Don't care. Okay. I did that. Y'all changed the you question to me. I got a different yeah. question than they got, but that's, but that's fine. Uh, there is a there is a divide between Rockmart and Cedar Town. It's right there at Wimberley Hill. You got to show your passport to get across. <laughs> Trust me, I do this every day. And um, and there's some divides between um, you know Aragon and, and, and Rockmart and and, and and Cedar Town. Of course, that city. And we're t we're talking county issues right here, but it's easily fixed, right? So I'm I'm kind of in charge of, of of the show team here, cattle show team. I've got kids from every school in the county, and they all work together hand in hand. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't always that way. So what we had to do is we had to bring these people together. I mean, over the years, if you look at a Cedar Town Ag and Rockmart Ag, you couldn't tell those kids, from, and they got on a bus together and they were just having a good time. And then when we competed, they wanted to beat each other. And then when it was over, they was back at it. But you got to bring these people together, not to have a meeting, have a meeting and talk about when the next meeting's going to be, but actually bring them together. And, and start planning as a group, not as a county commission or, or, or city council or whatever, but a, as a group, hey, we're, we're all in this together. That's how you start bringing people together. So you can kind of, that divide is always gonna be there as far as uh, at Wimberley Hill. You may not have to show your passport later on down the road, but if you start bringing those people together, then they know each other. It's not a it's not a them and us, okay? And, and that's, that's what causes the divide is when you start looking at them and us. When you when you use those types of terms on people, that's when you start running into problems. You start separating into groups. And it should be us. We're all Polk County. I mean, technically, we're all Polk County, right? I mean, people live in the city, live in the county, the same piece of ground. And, and we start bringing people together and start working and planning ideas and activities and events and, and what we want to do as a whole, then you will not have those community divides. And, and I've done that. I've done that with uh, with the ag programs throughout the school systems. I've, I've done it with other programs uh, inside the, the, through the school systems. And unfortunately that's the experience I have, so that's what I have to fall back on. Uh, but, but it's easily done. And um, most of the time it, it works really well if you just, hey, let's all come together. And, and let's start, you know, if I know your name and you know my name and you're not them and I'm not us and then you know, we're, we're, we're all in this together and it seems to work really well. Um, but like I said, there'll always be a continental divide right there at Wimberley Hill. Right now, you do have to show a passport to get through. You know, you have to change your shirt from black and gold, red and white, when you come across. So, uh, but you know, it's, it takes time to get through the, through that checkpoint. So thank you. All right, Mr. Howe. When uh, Tip Top Poultry was considering Polk County and we came here in 1989, um, there was JEDCO. There was a joint economic development uh, that brought Rockmart Economic Development and Cedar Town together back then. And, um, and I think that's been successful. I agree with what Gary said. I, I don't think that there is the, 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 the divide is not as great as it was 30 years ago. 
it is centered around school and activities like that. Um, I think there's a lot we can do to uh, can keep improving it, but I don't think it's a major problem. Uh, I'm honored to have um, been a part of the original organization of the Rock Mart um, and Cedartown Youth Leadership Program back in 1992. Um, Paul Thompson and Carolyn Elder with the chamber and I worked together to form and develop a, a leadership program where we took 15 sophomores out of Rock Mart, 15 out of Cedartown, put them together and had a uh, leadership a program. And I'm honored to say that for 29 years, I led the effective communication and team building part of that program. And I think that had a lot to do with bringing the two schools together, if you think about it. And one of the things that I required them to do was to know each other's name by the end of that day. And that's brought unity, that brought team building to them. Um, I would remind uh, someone on the board here to mention about they thought the county needed to address needs. May have forgot my introductory when I said that's exactly what this board does. We address the needs of this county, and not necessarily wants. That's the first thing I said. And he advocated for the four up here that are not uh, uh, incumbents. And he wanted new blood and energy. Well, let me tell you, this commission works with energy like I've never seen before. And I might be old, but my blood ain't old. And I can I can tell him where my leadership stands. We're going to address the needs of this county. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, uh, Glenn. Glenn? <laughs> Glenn? Glenn's all focused on now. So, uh, all right. <laughs> He's through the whole scene. Uh, call, call me out. Let's go. Oh, no, sir. I would never do that. Um, I'd just like to say if, if you don't know about the divide, you ain't from around here. So, uh, that's the only thing we can say about that divide over there. It's just been going on a long time. Still goes on some, but uh, you know it's it's not a big deal. I would like to uh, answer the first part of that by an example. Uh, when I first came uh, back to Coke County from the military, uh, I was looking for an organization, an uh, armed organization, to get into, and I got into the Cattlemen's Association. And they had their meetings at Joe's up here on on Main Street in Cedar. I think it was Joe's uh, Cafe. They had 15 people there, and I looked. And I said. I don't know any of you. Where's the people from the east side? We, we, we don't even talk about the east side. So a couple years later, unfortunately, they, to their regret, they made me president of the association. Within five, six years, we had grown that association from 15 to over 200 people, the largest association in the state. That's something that we're very proud of, a lot of work. But the only way we was able to do that was to go all over the county. And if we saw somebody on the farm, we stopped and asked them, why well, aren't you in the Cattlemen's Association? No one's ever asked. So by the time we all got finished with that 200 people, half of them was from the east side, half from, from the west side. So, but the divide on this, I, and I'm sure the commissioners know, mm -hmm. hey, the politicians from Rockmark, Cedar Town, they have to work together to get things done. And they're working strong together. I see it, you know, out here in the community. But the only way to resolve <coughs> east and west is to have things out into the county. And that's where we weak at. We have no recreation out there. We have nothing. So we have to come to the cities. If I have to come over here, go to school in Rockmark or Cedar Town, you know, not talking to this guy, he's not talking to me, you know, unless it's uh, you know something that's derogatory that we get in a fight about. So uh, it's just uh, the way things are. But to get them together, you, you've got to have something in the county, uh, where it's sports or industry or just some sort of other functions out there that the people can come together as one uh, county instead of east to west. Thank you. Hey there, folks. I'm Kevin, the editor. Thanks for tuning in to Polk Today's YouTube channel. Do us a favor and give this video a like, and if you really want more free local news and sports content, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we have new content available. So if you could just go ahead and hit those buttons, that'd be great. Thanks.